यानी इसमें भी क्वेरीज है हाँ क्या है हेलो एवरीबडी आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर एवरीबडी टू जॉइन एंड देन आई कैन आंसर क्वेश्चन आई हैव माई टी ए बिला टोनी एंड देन वी हैव नताशा जोराना सो दे बोथ आर देयर ऑन लाइन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑलवेज टाइप ऑल्सो एंड यू कैन आस्क ऑल्सो हाई हेमा नाइस टू सी यू ऑन लाइन ओके ग्रेट Hema, if you have any question, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm sure you're enjoying the course. Uh, more practical stuff is still yet to come uh, on uh, cross drill technique, uh, lot of other holds. Uh, primarily, you know, uh, techniques of breastfeeding, uh, skills of breastfeeding, uh, other issues in breastfeeding. So all that will come uh, in, you know, starting from uh, week six onward. uh we will also learn about complementary feeding uh you know other uh, who growth chart how to plot them uh all that you know all skills are still yet to come uh so far what i'll do is i'll answer questions uh from uh up to i think week 5 uh, or so uh week 6 is probably is getting released today hello dr ashna uh Hi, Dr. Mariam. So good to see you all. Uh, please feel free to ask if you have any questions. We have uh, my two TAs also. Uh, they are there online. So um, Natasha is nutritionist, and uh, Bela is a project manager for Health Spoken Tutorial. So. will will be able to kind of answer any questions you might have uh can this course be equivalent to lactation consultant course so uh, i don't call it lactation consultant uh, i would call more as a lactation counselor so 90% of the time out in 95% of the time you will be you will be dealing with cases who are difficult latching okay difficult latching so just normal uh, babies normal mothers uh, but you know uh, inability to latch so i have focused a lot on uh, latching you know especially uh, cross cradle hold other different holds 45 points that uh, i'll be discussing uh, in week 6 onward uh, it's all basically on latching there are few issues that i've also mentioned about you know nipple uh, nipple condition breast condition all that Uh, but uh, i wouldn't call it a lactation consultant you know i would call it more of a lactation counselor uh, because uh, it will uh, definitely help you uh, to help mothers to counsel mothers on techniques of breastfeeding and if there are other uh, issues that it will it will uh, guide you uh, hello dr anupurna uh, dipika satya uh, everyone thank you for joining uh, Just for the course should have been for longer duration. As submission or assignment needs complete watching of all videos. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, we don't have more than twelve weeks, you know. Uh, so uh, I had to compile, and each video has so much information here, ma. As you know, you know. So yeah, it takes time. But the thing is, uh, I have kept your questions very, very simple. 
uh, Natasha uh, creates these questions and we have kept it extremely simple, you know. Uh, question from Marian, how to educate healthcare providers and communities regarding the importance of breastfeeding education and support? So, uh, Marian, what will, you know, this will come in uh, subsequent lectures. So, don't worry about it, you know. Uh, this all uh, from uh, week 6 to week 12, it's all about counselling. You know, so uh, I will come back again probably in the next two three weeks. Uh, but do watch, uh, you know, all the weeks, and then I'll answer this. But you will learn this in uh, in our uh, course. Uh, hello, Hari Priya. Uh, most of us may be giving part time to this course only, so the challenge is busy with the profession. Yeah, Hema, you know what? Uh, don't worry too much about uh, uh, exams. It's very easy. I mean, it's extremely easy. You know, so don't kind of. I want you to enjoy the course, learn, you know, and enjoy it. Uh, don't get too stressed out about exams because these are extremely simple exams. And also, you know, as you know, uh, you know, this will be just basically, uh, yeah, this all objective type. So there is no subjective exam. There is no writing uh, theory. Uh, you know, we have just kind of more of applied nutrition, uh, you know, applied science. Uh, but uh, him, I wouldn't worry too much about exams to be blind. Uh, hello, Mahima. Uh, hi, Sonu. Uh, question from Pavan. Is this course sufficient enough to practice the nutrition in the field of mother and child nutrition care as a nutritionist? Yes, yes. Uh, this will be good enough to uh, help healthcare workers. In fact, you know, uh, we teach this course to all the healthcare workers of different uh, districts, you know, who come to us, uh, even uh, at state level, Madhya Pradesh. So we teach them uh, basically this curriculum and uh, you know, we are seeing excellent results in the field, so you should be able to uh, uh, guide. Uh, week 5 is very interesting but quite elaborate. <laughs> you know, Hema, you have just begun. Now just wait till you go to week 6 and week 7, it's, it becomes even more elaborate. Okay. Uh, since we are doing this course, we can uh, collaborate in any way from Dr. Juhi. Uh, yes, yes, you definitely let me know what, uh, what you do and we'll be happy to collaborate. Uh, question from Dr. Judy. The amazing knowledge regarding feeding at golden hour, delayed cord clamping and skin to skin in first hour. All this is very important for mothers, but why isn't gynae follow this in real setting? You know, unfortunately, it's not just gynae which uh, don't follow, but even uh, a pediatrician, it's hard for us to convince them to do, you know, uh, breast crawl and all. So, but if you pass on this awareness or knowledge to mothers, uh, they will demand. And once you demand, definitely uh, doctors will be able to help, you know. So, I would, what I would recommend is to pass on these videos to those doctors. We have many, many senior doctors taking this course, pediatricians also, you know. So, I think uh, once they watch it, I'm sure that, uh, you know, the practice will change. Uh, how vitamin A causes anemia? So, Natasha, I will let you answer this uh, question. You've been a nutritionist. Uh, no theory on April 7th. Uh, no theory on April 7th. Uh, I don't get this question, Nehema. Uh, no, so no theory exam. No, it's only multiple choice questions. It's only MCQs. Uh, just update the question in written exam. That would be great. Yes, 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 Emma. So the point is, you know, I want to uh, kind of uh, make you enjoy this course and not make you bogged down with a lot of theory, you know. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in too much of the stress for exams, okay? So just important to learn and then uh, practice in the field. Uh, you know, to have that practical knowledge is important. Uh, question from Dr. Chetal, an anemia of the Bharat website, Amla is not advised to take with iron rich food because of phytochemicals in spite of having vitamin C. Um, I don't know about that, you know, Dr. Chetal, but I would definitely give uh, Amla because it's vitamin C and for non-heme iron, you require vitamin C to be absorbed, you know. Uh, in fact, food which are very high in phytates uh, and oxalates are your spinach. So, if you are advising anybody to have spinach for iron deficiency, it's a wrong advice. You know, uh, spinach will not improve iron at all, iron improvement. Okay, and as you must have gone through it, uh, thank you, Emma. Uh, as you go, uh, go through this, uh, you know, course, uh, you will know that you know there are so many other uh, good nutrients or good food that can be given to mothers or can be told uh, to be taken uh, that will improve your uh, iron absorption okay so amla is definitely okay absolutely okay uh, i want to do survey in assessing breastfeeding knowledge in healthcare providers would you love to have your inputs yes dr mariam please do it you know uh, 
this particular knowledge is lacking in all uh, uh, pediatricians, gynecologists, pretty much everyone. So uh, please pass on this knowledge, you know, and uh, first you do, uh, you know, uh, kind of survey to understand what they know. Uh, question from Sakshi, I'm unable to register for examination even after multiple trials. So uh, Sakshi, uh, you must kind of contact uh, uh, Bharti. Natasha, please give uh, Bharti's uh, email ID. Uh, so that Sakshi can uh, talk to Bharti. Uh, what a relief now I'll enjoy more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah uh, because you know, uh, as I said, uh, you know, what helps in the field, it's not so much of theory which helps you in the field. In theory, what helps is your practical knowledge, okay? So what I recommend is as you go through now uh, week uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you practice those skills on the mother. Okay, you practice those complementary feeding uh, advice uh, on mother whose babies are more than six months old and you will see results. So my goal is to show you, kind of make you more uh, aware of the skills, you know. There are just 45 points. Uh, theory will, you know, if you're only focusing on theory and if you don't focus on the practical skills, you may know 100 points of breastfeeding, but if you can't help mother, what's the point, right? So I think it's important that, you know, focus on the skill, but I want you guys to start practicing, you know, uh, even those recipes, when you watch those recipes, I want you guys to uh, kind of create those recipes at home or, you know, practice those recipes, see, you know, what is the taste, what is it, uh, does it improve your uh, energy level, you know. Uh, and as I mentioned to you, being a, you know, a medical doctor, I'm very strict about uh, insulin resistance. So just make sure that you don't have too much of rice in wheat, you know. Uh, can't we have a community on WhatsApp of a current batch so that we can together make a change? Uh, very difficult, you know. Uh, it will be very difficult to connect through WhatsApp uh, because, you know, best thing is to connect through email. Because then when I get chance, I can uh, reply. And you know, everybody can, uh, everybody else can also uh, see the reply. Uh, Saroj, which, okay. So, uh, Sachin Kumar, anyone tell me that course has been more important for or not? Has been more important. <laughs> okay, Sachin. Uh, recipes I'm practicing. Okay. Uh, do let us know, you know, if you have any recommendations, suggestions regarding uh, recipes, please let me know. Uh, and let, uh, you know, uh, our team know, Bella know. Uh, because then, you know, we can, uh, we have many more tutorials which we are working on presently. So we can, uh, you know, get those uh, recipes going. Uh, Arshna Kher, exam date extended to, yeah, so exam registration date is uh, extended, not exam date, exam registration. So if you need, if you want, uh, uh, you know, IIT Bombay certificate, it would be good idea to register for exam because unless you take exams, you, you, you know, you will not uh, kind of take it seriously. So I do recommend to take exams, you know. Uh, question for Muttu. This course is too tougher than I thought. Just make it more simple. <laughs> the questions are very simple. You know, Muttu. Questions are very simple. Just go through those questions, you know, very simple. But what I recommend, like whenever you watch any tutorial or any of my lecture, you make notes. So when you make notes, you know, it will be easy for you to kind of uh, go through it. So you don't have to go through the whole tutorial over and over again. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Priya, I can call myself a certified lactation consultant, certified in child nutrition after this course. You can't call certified lactation consultant. Uh, we call it more of a you know, certified lactation counselor. Okay, so you can call yourself as a lactation counselor and a nutrition counselor. So, so maternal infant young child nutrition counselor. Absolutely. Uh, recipes are good. Lot of efforts taken by the team. Thank you, Dr. Ashna. Thank you so much. Uh, you know uh, that goes to all my nutritionists and graphic designers and you know, uh, Bela, so it's a huge team behind us. Uh, thank you, Sonu. Uh, also, the transcripts are not arranged as for lectures. For example, transcript from lecture 24 or other lectures don't match. Okay, uh, Natasha, can you please just look at this transcripts and uh, just talk to Bharti so that we can arrange it as per lecture wise. Currently, I'm reversing and curing diabetes, BP, cancer, arthritis with power of food alone. Maternal infant is new field for me and I'm loving it. Yes, Hema, I'm, as you know that I have, add, uh, I have added insulin resistant uh, videos also. And all our recipes are uh, kind of moderate to low carbohydrate. So we have not used rice or wheat. Okay, so thank you so much. 
I could not submit assignment on time, not could move with the pace of session. I'm starting with the lectures now. I'm sure I will come up. Okay. But I'm still eligible for exam because I've not submitted any assignment. No, you know what? Uh, since I think five uh, sessions are already done, so I don't know whether because we allow only four session uh, assessment if they have not taken four assessment and you take all others, uh, you still are eligible. But if you have not taken five assessment already and the due date is gone, uh, then I think uh, you will not be able to appear for exams. You can appear for exams, but you will not get certification. Uh, I see that galactic drug is very commonly prescribed to mothers instead of giving breastfeeding knowledge. When should you prescribe an indication phase? Dr. Mariam, so my, uh, you know, giving uh, uh, Domstal is the last resort. Uh, I don't start with Domstal at all. My first attempt uh, or multiple attempts are on uh, talking about proper latching, you know, and then there are physical ways of increasing breast milk supply. So almost, I would say 80% of the time, I don't uh, need to give Domstal. So it is a last resort. Only time if they try everything, if it doesn't help, you know, then I may give Dom Sal as a last resort, but not as a first resort. Uh, hope I can associate with you in the near future. Yes, absolutely, Emma. Uh, let me know where you are from and, you know, uh, if I'm coming to that area, I'll definitely connect with you. And we're always looking for trainers, master trainers, you know. Uh, but for master trainers, you have to show results in the field. So that is the whole process, different process. Uh, plus, we also have an internship program. So you can always join... Uh, internship, uh, you know, uh, in Bangalore uh, with Dr. Benakappa. She's not here today, uh, but uh, you know, you can join her hospital and do two weeks of internship. Uh, uh, is it important for the final exam eligibility? Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. I think uh, your assessments are important for final exams. Okay, so you need to give at least uh, six, eight uh, assessment. Uh, out of 12 so I, I think that uh, that is uh, important you know to be able to get your certification uh, hi dr. Pawan Kumar how are you uh, can we call ourselves a mother child nutritionist post this course yes of course you can call of course you can call yourself child mother and child nutritionist absolutely uh, Bharti Tari uh, okay uh, what are your thoughts on Shatavari and other Ayurvedic electrogongs? You know, I, Dr. Juri, I've never used it in my 17 years of experience. I've, I've never used Shatavari. Really, you know, just focus on uh, latching on 45 points, okay? And then there, this, there is a tutorial on how to increase your breast milk supply. Only with that, we have seen amazing results, you know? So, uh, just focus on the technicality uh, and how to improve breast milk through through physical methods, okay? There are 10 physical ways to increase the supply. So by and large, you know, if you focus on that, uh, main thing is latching, you know? So but latching, if latching is good, which you will see in my next six, seven uh, tutorial, you know, sixth week and se seventh week, uh, I focused a lot on latching in those 45 points. And there's a lot of repetition, okay? Uh, I have repeated in all those three, three sessions. So you will be able to kind of understand uh, about latching. Uh, please tell me that what is this course may be needed and what is available or not, please clarify my doubt. So if somebody can uh, answer Sonu, uh, this course is basically uh, for understanding maternal child nutrition, infant nutrition uh, and uh, basically guide uh, healthcare workers and also mothers on uh, maternal nutrition, uh, breastfeeding and complementary feeding. Okay, and understand how children grow. So we have also focused on growth charts, WHO growth charts. Uh, I'm in New Delhi South Extension. I can do internship here if possible. So I'll have to find Emma, somebody who has uh, access to our internship program. Okay, well, we I will need the hospital set up because I would want you to kind of uh, practice on live mothers and babies. So uh, uh, yeah, of course, Bangalore will be easy because there is a stay, you know, you can stay in that uh, hospital uh, and you can learn, you know, not just breastfeeding, uh, you know, a different whole, but the, uh, Dr. Banikappa. And I think part of the expense will be covered by NPTEL. So I, I can go, uh, you know, I can find out more about that also. Uh, I'm a medical officer at Sion Hospital NRC. Hope to collaborate further. Oh, thank you so much. This is amazing. I'm so, so uh, grateful that you have joined <laughs> because NRC, you know, my goal is to really 
not have any child go into nrc you know so my goal is really prevention of uh, malnutrition but if child is already in nrc then uh, with proper technique of breastfeeding uh, we have reduced uh, sam mam numbers in uh, in uh, nandurbar just by using our techniques at which i'll be showing in uh, from week 6 to uh, week 8 uh, or 9 you know so do kind of ask all the nurses also in nrc to kind of watch our uh, uh, you know our tutorials and our lectures uh, hello ma'am dr sangeeta this said i'm a pediatrician in ibclc i recently came to know this program i've enrolled and registered for the exam how can i get assignment uh, you know if you recently enrolled uh, i think four assignments are already done if i'm not mistaken so if you want to kind of Uh, start submitting the fifth assignment uh, do it as soon as possible you know uh, because uh, we have to give eight out of 12 assignments uh, and then of course appear for exams only then you will get uh, you know a certificate so please do that and thank you for joining dr sangeeta i'm currently working in uh, esic mch faridabad as a pediatrician okay wonderful Uh, you will see uh, you can start practicing on babies as soon as you see our breastfeeding videos you can start practicing on mothers and let me know what results you are getting uh, i just have a good news that you know we did this uh, project in nashik for one whole year where we we created uh, 90 master trainers and uh, just in the matter of one year uh, uh, you know and we work with government actually uh, you know mortality child mortality rate uh, child mortality is reduced by 25% which is uh, humongous it's humongous right just in one year and they haven't even trained all 100% they have trained just 33% of their healthcare cadre okay so uh, i i'm sure that you will see similar results in your uh, mothers and babies that you will be helping because um, you will see amazing weight gain there is no doubt uh, but it will take some time so you will have to practice uh, what uh, we teach you uh, in this program so keep practicing and if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me i'll be back again in couple of weeks uh, for live session uh, even i'm from nagpur would love to do internship please do explain more uh, sure sure dr juhu i will definitely uh, uh, talk about it i think nagpur we had uh, somebody from nagpur last time uh, so i will connect with her she is also pediatrician and i'll see if she can uh, help you with that internship I would like to work on this at a grassroots level in collaboration. I'm from Hyderabad. Could you please connect me whom I can work with? Okay. So in Hyderabad, we have uh, a couple of lactation consultants. Uh, so I will definitely talk to them and see if you would like to kind of uh, you know uh, have like a uh, practice or just practice on mothers through through her clients. We can try that. But uh, yes, uh, grassroots level, you know, we don't have any projects in Hyderabad so far. Uh, i'm sure we'll we'll get this soon but uh, uh, right now we don't have any project with the uh, government over there uh, there is one ngo in telangana uh, where we can try because uh, this particular doctor he is working in a very remote areas of tribal uh, tribal areas so if you are interested dr marim uh, just uh, feel free to kind of uh send your email address or phone number and bella will get in touch with you uh so that you know i can connect you and uh, that other physician i'm interested in master trainer please let me know for the details okay dr marian but you will have to show me results first okay results in not just a theory exam but results on babies so uh, what i would recommend is to kind of uh, monitor you know 10 babies which i will explain in my last lecture how how i recommend to do it uh, and follow those babies up you know uh, because uh, i want to see uh, whether you are able to grasp the content knowledge and you you are able to apply it in the field so unless you show me results uh, on uh, you know complementary feeding babies and newborn babies in anc mothers you know uh, i will not be able to take you as a master trainer so all our master trainers have tremendous experience in the field you know so uh, because our goal is to teach them skills and not so much of content you know uh, devesh uh, hi dr rupal my sir dr devesh pediatrician and preventive health care expert from mumbai i'm thoroughly enjoying this course looking forward to catching up with you uh, thank you so much dr devesh thank you so much uh, i where would you where are you practicing in mumbai i would like to know and whether you also uh, deal with uh, lactation issues 
so do let me know about uh, your experience. Uh, my uh, Saroj, what was your question? Sorry, can you please repeat your question? Uh, how vitamin A deficiency causes anemia? So I don't know where does this come from. Uh, Natasha may be able to answer this question. Uh, she's a nutritionist, so she will be able to uh, the same. Uh, I don't know the. Uh, I don't know any uh, paper which has. Uh, vitamin A causing anemia unless I'm missing something so I would ask uh, Natasha to take care of this answer uh, please tell me benefit of certificate in government job yes yeah, so so this basically the certificate is coming from IIT Bombay okay so this certificate will definitely help you uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, government or uh, I would say district government are looking for lactation consultant in district hospital okay so when you have a, a certificate like this you can uh, you can definitely approach them and say that you are certified by IIT Bombay uh, to be able to join this as a uh, join that job as a lactation consultant or as a nutrition MIS counselor okay so definitely I would recommend to go ahead and uh, you know uh, uh, show this uh, certification but it's important to get the certification okay all right. So, where should I send my email and phone number, Dr. Mariam? Uh, you can just uh, do do me a favor. You can send your your uh, contact to uh, Dr. Bela on our uh, question answer. Uh, you know that uh, email that you have. You know, NPTEL email. So you can just send it to our NPTEL email, and we will take it up from there. Uh, or you can just send your email ID on this also, and we can uh, note it down. Uh, if you don't mind, Dr. Mariam. Uh, Mahima, uh, now I'm practicing a la latching expert in uh, eco under Dr. Tanima Singhal. She's also your student. Yeah, so I want to, Mahima, thank you so much for uh, introducing yourself. Dr. Tanima has been uh, working with me. In fact, uh, many years ago, I was in uh, Lucknow and she came for uh, face to face training and she has become one of the best lactation. Uh, counselor in uh, Lucknow. She has expanded so much. Uh, this is for everybody else. I want to tell everybody else. Not only she has certification from our course, but uh, she has expanded that she is hiring now uh, lactation counselor for her uh, for her practice. So she has two or three lactation counselors, and she has uh, so many uh, mothers coming to her from word of mouth. You know, because she's focused so much on the skill part. She's also into, uh, you know, relactation or if a mother has adopted the baby, how to uh, kind of help her lactate, you know. So she has gone beyond like uh, my capacity, you know. So I'm very, very proud of Dr. Tanima and you all can do it too, you know. Uh, main thing is practice it and, you know, just basically how, think about how you want to expand this uh, knowledge, uh, you know, not just to yourself but to mothers. Okay, so there are different ways of doing it. Uh, it's basically kind of, I would say, you know, like business, how to grow this. It's, a, it's you know, I mean, of course, uh, you can do whatever you need to do in government setting to help mothers, but it's also a good way of earning, uh, you know, uh, our bread and butter, you know. So definitely think of. Uh, connecting with Dr. Tanima and she may help you the how to kind of uh, you know uh, start this clinic of lactation uh, counseling. Uh, hello ma'am, this side Pooja, I need some content to study for assessment. Uh, see Pooja, all that content is there already on uh, NPTEL website. Okay, uh, we also have transcript, we have all the videos. Everything will come from videos. I'm not going to ask anything beyond that. Okay, so just go through those videos, make a note. And you'll be able to uh, give assignment. Those assignments are very simple, actually. Uh, I'm in Kandivali. Yes, I take care of lactation in issues. I practice in affluent as well as slum area. Nine out of ten mothers excuse the best way the babies, and I take care of maternal nutrition as well. That's wonderful, Dr. Devish. That's wonderful. Uh, you do. Uh, teach them our technique of breastfeeding which I will uh, discuss in week 6 uh, this is cross riddle hold we have done a research on this hold uh, this uh, particular it was published in um, MCN journal maternal child nutrition international journal what we found is babies who were breastfed as per cross riddle technique our 45 points uh, those baby uh, weight gain was much higher okay so and we are seeing that uh, in uh, all the areas that we are working in with government so do kind of practice on that hold 
and try it of course other holes are important like this you know sideline hole or laid back hole and all are they're good but the way this baby's gain weight on uh, cross cradle is something else so definitely please do it uh, ma'am i want to ask that i know some students uh, has been registered uh but i didn't pay money so want to confirm if i don't pay that it is affecting my degree certificate no no so you have to pay uh, so it's very minimum it's like 1000 rupees that you need to pay for registration of exam it's only if you want certification okay so if you don't want certification you don't need to pay but if you and it's not a degree certificate it's a certification it's a certification course so it's not a degree okay but yeah if you need a certificate then you will have to appear for exam and the exam fee is 1000 rupees uh okay so any other uh, questions uh from the devesh you know do like of course so far i have not gone so much into skills of breastfeeding but going forward from uh, week 6 uh, you will be learning all the different skills uh, including how to improve breast milk supply you know all the physical ways of increasing breast milk supply you'll also learn about uh, you know nipple sore and uh, breast you know uh, breast conditions and all that uh again i I've, i've kept it very very simple uh, because uh, more basic you know you will not come across complications our goal is to prevent complications okay and if you can teach mothers when they're pregnant in last month uh, about breastfeeding that will really help mothers to kind of enjoy this breastfeeding journey so rather than waiting for babies to be born and then teach mothers you can send this videos to mothers through youtube you know and tell them to watch it you know and in fact mothers can watch the whole 30 hour module you know it will be helpful not only for her uh, you know nutrition but it will help babies also okay uh, hema yeah no insulin no medicine but absolutely hema and as you must have seen from our uh, all the tutorials that you know i focus a lot on uh, decreasing carbohydrate and you know increasing protein so yes absolutely uh i'm dr rajiv arya consultant pediatrician in panchkula chandigarh very informative educational program keep it up yearning to learn more and more <laughs> yeah thank you dr rajiv thank you so much uh you know uh, i think this now you'll enjoy it more because now it will be more of skills and you know complementary feeding and issues that we face you know uh, as a pediatrician when we teach mothers uh, about uh, breastfeeding and complementary feeding so and also i focused a lot on uh, who growth chart because i feel that you know we are not doing justice by not plotting who growth and not understanding uh, what is standard deviation what are z score you know uh, what is growth faltering uh, what is the target weight gain because everybody in india talks about target weight of 500 grams which is too less you know uh, so i focused a lot on that also that what should the weight gain and uh, as per who table uh, weight gain should be at least 1.2 kg per uh, month for first 5 weeks so first 5 weeks it should be at least 1.2 kg you know so uh, i think that's important for uh, people to understand uh, could you please comment on minimum acceptable diet uh, okay anjana you know this will come it will come don't be in hurry to kind of uh, you know jump your this thing up huh? uh, it will come it will come in i think week 9 or week 10 i don't remember but that complimentary feeding part is going to come okay so i will discuss when i when you watch that tutorial uh, good afternoon ma'am this site swati currently pursuing msc nutrition dietitian can you please suggest me the pathway of pediatric nutrition specifically so swati so this particular course is on maternal infant young child nutrition okay so here my focus is basically uh, nutrition of course maternal nutrition very important but mainly on uh, child infant and young child nutrition iyc and we call it and you know i have not gone deep into uh, nutrition in uh, particular diseases okay so i would recommend to kind of uh, pursue uh, you know uh, courses which only focuses on uh, pediatric nutrition because pediatric nutrition is uh, different pediatric nutrition is you know you deal with lots of diseases and what what uh nutrition advice to be given so that's different than what my course is my course is primarily on myycn children under 2 years of age okay of course older children also we have uh, put in more recipes for party recipes and all but focus is very much under under 2 years uh yeah <laughs> thank you dr mariam yeah so you know so far in all the data all the surveys that government has done 
it's it it's always been on you know uh, exclusive breastfeeding or early breastfeeding i wanted to and i was doing that for my babies when i was working in slums of mumbai i was focusing on exclusive breastfeeding i was focusing on you know early i didn't have much choice because babies were coming to me after discharge uh, but what was lacking in my counseling was effectiveness so first five years i was not seeing much results okay once i started learning about cross cradle hold and once i started improvising on techniques of cross cradle hold you know once i started adding more points uh, i realized that how important this effectiveness was okay because child may be exclusively breastfed but if the milk transfer is not occurring because of improper technique that exclusive breastfeeding has no value for me no value for me okay because if child's growth is deteriorating or child is faltering it is going to cause a problem with child's iq and cognition okay so for me i think more than exclusive i'm more into effective because if the effectiveness is there baby will not go on anything else but breast milk okay but if you have a exclusive breastfeeding where mother is trying to feed but milk transfer is not happening then obviously baby is not growing not only pediatrician gets uh, kind of uh, worked out but mothers get worked out um, grandmothers get worked out everybody in the family gets worked out and then mother has so much pressure they start formula start formula you know rather than understanding the root cause you know they just start formula so here i have really kept as you will see in now week 6 week 7 i've got so much into technicality focus on the skill and this exclusive will become very easy you know focus on effectiveness so that's what i wanted to uh, kind of talk about it so b12 is present in veggies like spinach beetroot potato mushroom if we eat raw veg so the hema a problem was you know i'll tell you about b12 okay now a problem with vegetarian some of this vegetarians right like spinach and all uh, very high in oxalates very high on phytic acid some of this vegetables have it causes inflammation to be frank okay uh, and when you have lot of inflammation what happens the intrinsic factor goes down so the problem is the absorption of b12 okay so that's why whenever there is a b12 deficiency most of the doctors will not give you b12 medication because absorption is a problem Pro- what we recommend is to give injection of course if there is a b12 and this thing but what i recommend is if you want to have a good absorption of b12 then go have your uh, like if you are vegetarian you can have your dairy you can have your you know um, your uh, dahi paneer and all that that will give good amount of b12 uh, but also let me just see yeah sorry so and also um, if you non vegan if you are okay to eat eggs then eggs is a very good uh, source of b12 you know other uh, kind of non veg foods also very good in b12 so in my experience okay uh, because i do blood test on anybody and everybody who comes to me and this is true even for older children i always check b12 and what i have experienced is uh, children or even adults actually who are not consuming lot of uh, Uh, animal source food uh, including dudh and dahi they are deficient okay in fact we have seen b12 deficiency even people who are consuming uh, you know uh, dudh and dahi so the best source is actually uh, non veg food uh, problem with this you know with lot of this raw vegetables you know uh, raw vegetables are very high in phytates so i don't recommend eating raw vegetables myself i except for cucumber i even saute tomatoes okay so i don't eat uh, raw tomatoes also uh, because the oxalates and uh, phytates are just too high for my comfort uh i've cured many b12 deficiency with this okay that's great uh, but uh, this is not has this has not been my experience only thing is we have to be very careful that when you give lot of uh, vegetables uh, it does cause bloating and lot of this uh, other problems you know so what i recommend is when you having animal source food try to avoid too many veggies because veggies will also prevent the absorption of uh, other minerals like your iron your calcium your zinc we know that very well you know phytate and oxalate will bind with those minerals so it should not happen that you know to improve your b12 you're reducing other uh, minerals and 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 uh, other minerals absorption so what i would so, uh, do hema you check their hemoglobin level also 
uh, check the hemoglobin level check the zinc level you know so just make sure that you know we are uh, we are treating patients holistically and not just one micronutrient deficiency uh, yes fermented millets are best absolutely i agree with you Ferment, fermentation per se it's really good and you must have seen in our tutorial that we have recommended fermentation in each and every recipes in a sense we, wherever we could you know i have recommended uh, fermented uh, or malt powders also this also kind of you know germinated uh so hello ma'am can you tell me about lactose intolerance okay this is a very good question so you know the the reason first of all we don't see much lactose intolerance in, in babies very very rare you know unless children have chronic diarrhea you know they we don't see lactose intolerance is i have not seen in in adults what happens uh, you may get lactose intolerance but it's not what i find when you remove food which causes lot of inflammation okay so for example some foods are inflammatory so if you remove those inflammatory foods uh, the, the the linings of intestinal lining they heal and then they have uh, you know they heal the leaky gut so once you heal that leaky gut then you will be able to absorb milk you know you'll be able to absorb food which you were you felt that you were you know not tolerating before so rather than kind of saying that you are lactose intolerance what i do is i do uh, you know kind of uh, nutrition history or diet history and find out what else that they are eating which is causing uh, inflammation of gut which is causing intolerance to uh, lot of this you know like egg intolerance or milk intolerance once you heal that gut they'll be able to tolerate uh, you know lactose pretty well so again you know uh, again you want to be more of understanding the whole scenario holistic approach then you say you no know, no like you know this patient is lactose intolerant it's mainly inflammation in the gut so focus on inflammation of gut most common cause is uh, you know gluten okay gluten is one of the most common cause sugar can cause leaky gut uh, you know seed oil can cause leaky gut fix those problem first and then then see if a patient is lactose intolerant or not okay Dr. Rao, uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Rao. Thank you so much for uh, attending this. Uh, I'm very glad that we have a lot of pediatrician and doctors this time. So I'm very, very happy because this this particular knowledge will definitely help you in your in your uh, private practice or you know your government practice. Uh, regarding breastfeeding, most of the mothers during our study was telling regarding lack of milk. So again, Anjana, you will don't. This is you're going too fast. we still haven't started uh, breastfeeding lectures as yet so please save this uh, questions when i come back again after 2 3 weeks when you finish watching uh, you know your breastfeeding videos then we'll we'll discuss this okay uh, hemoglobin increased okay very good okay ma so that's good so do keep sharing your uh, experiences and i'll definitely kind of uh, uh, you know advise to my patients also uh, i am enjoying doing the course looking forward to learning innovative and informative ways of treating patients with respect to good nutrition yes absolutely dr rao and i think uh, you know most important thing is you start with yourself and you will understand that how as medical doctors we were not taught about nutrition at all so you know uh, and here whatever that i have learned is come from the field you know working in slums of mumbai uh, so i feel that start with yourself see what is your energy level look at your markers look at your triglyceride level look at your hdl level you know tg hdl ratio should, should be less than 1 so all that you know if you know uh, and uh, hopefully uh, for next semester i will uh, i will create a course for adult nutrition also uh, mainly for metabolic disorders so i will definitely talk more detail about you know how we can improve our metabolism by diet um okay so what are inflammatory foods wheat wheat is inflammatory okay a uh, lot of raw vegetables are inflammatory absolutely infl inflammatory uh, many times people have uh, you know uh, kind of sprouts which are not cooked uh, inflammatory uh, high in lectins high in lot of those uh, you know uh, anti nutrients which can cause inflammation oxalates are inflammatory okay uh, so food which are high in oxalates uh you can use cooking technique with you can reduce those oxalates and phytates so that's what i have shown in uh, all the tutorials you know with the help of uh, natasha and other nutritionists that uh, for everything we have used one of the two one of the other nutrition or which a processing food processing in the kitchen which will reduce your uh, uh, you know uh, anti nutrient but other inflammatory foods are nightshades 
Uh, another thing is your, uh, you know, um, seed oil. So seed oil is very, very inflammatory. So uh, kind of that's why I mentioned to use ghee or, uh, you know, uh, cream uh, or butter. Uh, coconut oil is good, you know. Uh, try to uh, avoid uh, the soya bean, uh, canola oil, you know, all those oils, I would definitely avoid it. Uh, so all that, you know, just those are inflammatory foods. Uh, how to identify food causing inflammation. So that's what I just mentioned, Juhi, that, uh, you know, mainly sugar, ultra processed food, food which is, uh, which has a lot of chemicals, uh, glyphosate is very inflammatory, uh, you know, those weed killer, uh, preservatives, colors, added colors, Right? Those are all inflammatory foods, so definitely avoid those uh, inflammatory foods. Okay, I think my session starts at 3 o'clock for uh, Hindi version. Uh, yes, so yes, Dr. Marian, so I'm, uh, I will see if I can, I, if I have time, I'll definitely uh, kind of take this adult nutrition course coming uh, this next semester because in that I'll be discussing more about, you know, your labs. Uh, what are those labs? What is inflammation? You know, uh, what are uh, uh, you know what are cytokine storms? Uh, what are all these uh, you know diseases? Uh, you know, like uh, metabolic diseases like uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, now we also have uh, metabolic diseases like mental disorders. So I will go deep into those uh, uh, you know cases that we have treated, and also how we can use nutrition as a therapy. You know, therapeutic diets therapeutic foods. So I'll go deep into that in that uh, semester. Uh, this one I have focused only on maternal infant young child nutrition, you know, but uh, but I think uh, I had wonderful time discussing, you know, all these question answers. You guys have very good Q&As, very excellent and I, I enjoyed giving answers. Uh, now next three weeks or so, uh, you will learn a lot about uh, breastfeeding. You'll enjoy it, uh, you know, again, as I tell you, uh, I'm still learning. So you will see like every year I'm adding more and more lectures because as I'm learning in the field, uh, I'm adding those points. So in this 45 points, this 45 points that you will learn uh, in next week or so, uh, that has come after 17 years of experience and every time we add one or the other points. So again, you know, uh, uh, do practice it on your babies uh, and you know, do share your experiences. Uh, if you have any concern, any suggestion, then feel free to write to me on email, and I'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, take your suggestions and then just guide. Okay. So thank you so much, and uh, see you next time. How did you get it? It's very good. How many questions are you asking?